Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and today I'm going to help you get set up with Marvel Heroes in IS Boxer. So first of all, in the inner space menu, make sure that you have Marvel Heroes listed. If you do not, then use Add Game to put it there. You can click and drag your desktop shortcut right to the Add Game window and click OK. Now in the inner space menu, we do have Marvel Heroes, and let's get started in IS Boxer. Use the Quick Setup Wizard from the Wizards menu. Which game would you like to set up? Let's select Marvel Heroes. On the next page, uh, we put in character names. It's already got Marvel Heroes selected here for us. I'm going to name my characters MH1, MH2, and MH3 for Marvel Heroes 1 through 3. Um, and normally you would enter them in in the order that you're going to log them in. Um, and I just have it set up for with generic names, so it doesn't really matter which characters I uh, enter the game with. Choose a name for your team Marvel Heroes oops, Trio. Um, just name it whatever is going to help you identify your team. On the next page, this is the window layout uh, setting. There's lots of different settings based on your monitors and uh, how many characters you're going to be playing. I'm going to go ahead and use this style for my video. This is the CPU strategy page, and it helps you pick load balancing for your game instances on your CPU cores. Um, and down here, this is the most important part. Uh, it's either going to default probably to round robin balancing or select all CPUs with every window. Um, and in my case, it's using all CPUs in every window because round robin would have left two CPU cores completely unused. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Uh, on the final page, it's going to default to action RPG control style. Um, that's pretty important here. Um, and something to note, on this page there's a checkbox for broadcasting mode starts on in all windows. Um, some people like for their broadcasting toggle to only chain, turn uh, one window at a time on and off. And if you want that, then uncheck this box. Otherwise, your broadcasting toggle is going to turn it on and off in every window at the same time. Um, I'm going to set my broadcasting toggle hotkey to uh, MR on my keyboard. Just a special button. Um, there might be a different convenient hotkey for you. Activate next window. I'm going to use Control X and um, hold to Control slot one through three. I'm just going to use F1, F2, and F3. And what that's going to do uh, while I'm playing, uh, sometimes you want to loot things out of different windows or cl just click somewhere to resynchronize your characters or whatever. Um, and so you can hold down one of those buttons in order to control a specific character uh, from your main screen. Okay, that's all we need to configure in the wizard. Click Finish. Now I'll show you real quickly the key maps that get set up. Um, the hotkeys we configured are under Always On. Um, so you can see the Hold to Control buttons uh, set up right here. You don't really have to care about the details necessarily, but um, then there's Next Window is Control X like I configured. Activate Repeat is the broadca broadcasting toggle, um, and that's set to my MR button. Um, activate maps isn't going to be incredibly important unless you're setting up custom key maps. Um, for example, if you want to round robin um, when you press 1 or something, or Q or whatever the hotkey is, um, so that only one, one of your guys at a time uses a certain ability, um, then you go in here and use the map key wizard and set up a round robin key broadcast. Now once you do that, um, here, I'll do one for Q. You just push the key in there, uh, click finish, and that's basically it. So now my Q button would round robin to all my guys if key maps are on. Um, <clears throat> now, one thing about this game is when you're doing combat, you're going to be holding shift a lot. And that's going to change the hotkey. It's not going to be Q anymore. You're going to be holding shift Q, um, and that's a different hotkey. So what you can do if you need your round robin to work while you're holding shift, you can right click this. And create alternate hotkey. Set the alternate hotkey to shift Q. So that way what's going to happen is if you're pressing Q or shift Q they're both going to use the original round robin hotkey. Okay and that's that's just uh, for special combat abilities you don't normally have to worry about that but um, you might find it handy later on. Under non-combat this has um, things mostly for uh, MMORPGs really but um, assist me and follow me. You're not going to need those in Marvel Heroes. I um, mean, you're probably never going to press Alt A or Alt F, so you probably don't have to worry about that so much. 
anyway, um, under menus, there's a toggles menu, and it's um, you'll see it in my other videos, but um, there's an, a toggle button on screen uh, for turning on or off key maps and broadcasting. And if you don't want that, you can remove that from your characters right here. Under menus, click on toggles, and you can see right here it's assigned to my character set. So that means it's going to appear in the game. If you don't want that to appear, just click it, press delete, and that will no longer be attached to your character set. If you change your mind, you can drag it right back. <clears throat> and lastly, I'm going to go into my character set, and I'm going to check this box right here, mute background window audio and unmute foreground window audio. And that's so I can uh, hear only one window at a time instead of hearing them all uh, at the same time. And that is pretty much all you need to know um, under repeater profiles. Now this comes up with Diablo sometimes. People play with their window layout. Um, I'll show you mine. Um, and they might uh, have a completely different layout. And depending on if you've got, for example, instant window swapping enabled, um, that synchronizes the game resolution. So even though there's smaller windows down here, um, they're all going to be at this size and the smaller, uh, they're just going to be shrunk down. Now, when you're broadcasting the mouse, that's fine, that's perfect. Uh, the way it's set up with instant, instant uh, window swapping, that's going to be perfect for mouse broadcasting. Now, if I went back here and unchecked that, then the smaller windows would render faster, be running at a faster speed, um, but mouse broadcasting would be stuck in this little area right here. Uh, pretend this window is right here. Uh, going, all, going up through here, the mouse broadcasting would work on this little screen, but once you move your mouse down here, it's off of that window now. And so that's important for some people. They want to change the cursor positioning mode. Um, instead of from upper left corner, they would want scaled to fit. And again, that's depending on your window layout in this game. So I'm going to leave instant window swapping checked. Um, and uh, let's go see the game. Uh, when you're done setting things up, go ahead and export to Interspace. Exported successfully. Great. And now we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so down here under Icebox or Character Sets, I'll select mine. And uh, we'll be back as soon as things launch. All right, we're back. So uh, I got the game windows open, just launched uh, my team, and each of the patch windows came up one at a time, and I clicked play and minimize it. And once the next game window comes up, that's when the next patcher is going to come up. Um, so now all the game windows are up, and we see this welcome to ISBoxer41 message, and the mouse cursor goes behind the window. Um, that's because the game is rendering it as part of its graphics instead of letting windows render the cursor. Um, so we can move this carefully out of the way and click the X button. Uh, might, might take you a try or two. Um, this up here is the toggles menu again that's in your character set under menus and if you don't want this you can remove it. Um, so I like mine right about there. Um, click the sync button to put it in the same spot in each window. There's also a button um, for that in the IS box or control panel. The save all menu positions button will keep it in that spot the next time we launch the game. So uh, first thing to do is enter your password and log in. Oops. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's invite my guys to the group. And I'll go over and accept my invites in each of the windows. And each of my guides is already here in the instance. Um, so I've got my three storm characters right here. And uh, with broadcasting on, it's really easy to keep our guys together. They follow, uh, we just click and hold and move the mouse around. And during combat, we'll be holding shift um, so they don't move, they don't keep moving while we. Um, start shooting. So let's go find something to shoot at. As you can see, it's super easy to multi-box this game. Um, there's 
holding shift and clicking is going to keep my guys in the same spot. So it's really easy uh, to keep your guys together. And you notice that my guys aren't in exactly the same formation that they started in. Um, so they do move a little bit differently. Um, and so you do have to uh, resynchronize your characters a little bit. But you can use the geometry in the world um, to force them into the same spot. Or, um, again, early in the video, I set the hold to control hotkeys. You can hold, um, if you set those, I can hold um, F1 to control just the main window here. Um, F2 to control just window 2 if you're looking down in the middle. And F3 to control just the one in the bottom right. And that way, uh, whatever I need to do in each individual window, like if I wanted to loot something um, with individual guy, uh, say there's a light cape, if I want to loot it with just this guy instead of clicking there with everybody, um, I just hold F1. Um, and the same for the other things. Like if I hold F2, I can hold Alt after I do that, and I can see in the middle window at the bottom that there's an item here to click on. Uh, so I'll go ahead and loot that. And in window 3, uh, same thing, there's an item here, a shield healing pack, I guess. Um, and then let go, and we're back to normal. So I'll just go around and kill a couple more things. That's basically the game. Um, there's nothing else you need to know in order to get started. Uh, run around and loot things, and if you get split up, run them into a corner, and you're back all in the same spot again. So that's pretty much the game. Uh, so if you have any questions, come on down to the IS Boxer chat room or the IS Boxer forums, and we'll get you squared away. So yeah, have fun multiboxing Marvel Heroes. Thanks guys, see you next time.